Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I am finally going to be doing the African sun care gu like guide, like how to take care of them. As you probably have seen in my previous videos, um, that did not go well. <laughs> I've been my mouth and no! So I am trying to film it with the door and the window shut so we can hopefully get some out without losing them. Um, I currently have three out and about munching on some strawberries that I put in there yesterday. So hopefully they're prepared to be taken out. African sun beetles, their Latin name is Pachnoda marginata um, and they are a tropical species. They are from Africa but they're from the tropical side of Africa. Um, and they are more terrestrial than arboreal. Yes, these guys can fly but they spend most of their time on the floor where fallen fruit yeah that's right uh, so they spend most of their time on the floor where fruit has fallen and they'll be eating the fruit, the mouldy fruit dead leaves, rotting wood, anything like that they're the grubs which is where they spend I'd say like 60% of their life as a grub um, the grubs live underground and they'll come up for again dead leaves, rotting wood, stuff like that um, but like I said, these beetles can fly, which is what my problem in my last video was, was they just kept flying about. I'm going to get some out, but I only am doing this so you guys can see what they look like. I don't really handle my bugs. They don't need to. I mean, my stick insects, it's kind of cute to, to handle those guys, but my, my sun beetles, no one benefits from handling. Um, I also get pooped on. <laughs> I get pooped on when I handle these guys. But yes, so quickly before I get them out, what am I keeping them in? I am keeping them in a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter by 30 centimeter um, exoterra. I will be putting the measurements on the screen now and I'm also giving them access to T5 UVB lighting. I read a research that UVB does benefit African sun beetles and I mean, it makes sense. I feel like every animal is gonna benefit from UV, but there's certain species that need like proper access to it as opposed to like through a window or just LED lighting, which by the way, is not UVB. Um, so they are on a 6% tube because that is what my Cresties and my frogs are on as well. They're sitting in between those tanks. Um, and yes, I've given them UV and I've had African sun beetles in the past and didn't give them UV and they are using the space much more. They are almost basking under the UV. They climb to the highest point and just sit there. Um, and I've even seen some grubs coming out and then they go back under and it's, it's very interesting watching, watching them basically do their thing, but with the access to UV, it does make a difference. So that's a link to keep in mind if you wanna get them. You could always pop like a shade dweller um, on top of the tank, or if you have other animals, just put them near it so they get some access. UVD, UVD, what's going on? <laughs> UVB does bounce, by the way, like the beans and stuff. So yeah, let's get these bad boys out. I am boiling hot, so I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I'm wearing it is so it looks like I filmed on another day. <laughs> I got a day off today, so I'm trying to get a lot of videos done, so if I look the same, it's, it's the exact same day. But yes. So yeah, here is one. Look how cute these guys are. They're beautiful uh, yellow colours and then they have these red spots on the back and then one triangle on the head. Sometimes the red is a little more brighter than others, but yeah. And then they have this black bit. I still haven't learned how to uh, sex these guys. So no, I do not know the gender of these. If you guys know, let me know down below. Let if you guys know how to sex these, let me know down below because it's something I'm interested in, but I also don't I never looked into it because it's not something I needed to know straight away. But yeah, really, really cute. I'm gonna pop him back before he flies away. Easy to care for, and no, they cannot harm us in any way, shape, or form. Um, mainly what they eat is fruit, so strawberries, bananas, berries, mango, my guys love mango, uh, grapes, anything like that, nothing too citrusy. Um, but yeah, let's pop them back and you can have a proper look at the tank and all that. Okay, so as you can see, this is the access to UV, this is my frog tank, this is my crusty tank, there are my stick and socks, it's a mess, I need to clean them today. But, let's have a look. So yeah, this is one of the nano tanks by Exoterra. I love Exoterras, I think they look so lovely, um, they work for so many different species, and also they make great bioactive tanks. Um, but let's have a look, so yeah, this guy here, munching on his drawbs. I 
Okay guys, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below on a video you want to see next week. And I'm really sorry if this was a short video. It's very basic care for these guys. And again, if you're looking for a beginner pet, African Zumbeetles, they're great, honestly they're great. As well as like hissing cockroaches and stick insects. Stick insects is another video I will be making soon. And I am after some Madagascan hissing cockroaches. If any of you guys have some and are willing to spare, let me know. They are my favorite cockroach ever. If you've watched my tarantula feeding Q&A, you'll know why. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys soon, have a great day and bye.